So here is our challenge. We have this web page available in internet and scrolling here, we have a data set, a table that represents data about the cities we have in the world, ordered by their population. What is our goal here? How we can extract this data from web and then build a dashboard grouping data and provide the user the possibility to build filters inside this data. So now let's build that with Power BI. Hi there, Rafael here. Let's build in this video a dashboard using Power BI. So I'll guide you in all the steps. We are going to take the data from this table we have just seen. We are going to transform this data inside Power BI. And when it's available to be processed, we are going to create the dashboards and establish a few filters we can do with that. And then we are going to consume this dashboard. So let's start now. Let's start here. Here we have the table. We want to extract the data. First thing you have to do is copy the URL where your data are. Copying that, you can then open your Power BI desktop. Here, there is one option that is to get data. Selecting this option here, there are a lot of options and one of these options is from web. So just click here and it's going to ask you for providing what is the URL your data are. So you just paste that and click on OK. Now what it's going to do, it's going to scan this web page and it's going to look for our table that are inside this HTML file we have in this address. So it's going to scan the whole web page and sometimes there are more tables as we expect, but no problem. Let's see here. This tool here will help us to identify which tables are really useful. For instance, in case I select here table one, it showed to us a preview. So it's not the case here. If I select here table two, it's not exactly this data I'm looking for. But in case I select here list, what we have exactly the data table we want to have. So what we have to do here, we need to select the table we want to extract the data. And then now we have two options, load or transform data. In my case, I'm going to transform data because some kind of numbers like here, the population, the format is not properly right to be handled as numbers as we have here some separators is not standardized and you have here some kind of no value and it's not with zero but it's with some kind of dashes so it's not going to be processed properly in case we would like to perform statistics processing here like some of these values so we are going now to transform data What is our goal here? Is to transform this data to be properly processed by Power BI using data with its proper data types without invalid value. So we need to clean up our data. One first thing we have to do is for instance with this population column that right now it is not a numeric column. In case you right click the column and ask here for change type, you can see that the current type of this column is text. And why it's so? Because we have here some kind of format cannot be recognized as numeric format. So we have to right click here and ask for change type and ask for change for decimal number. And now it just convert the values to be just with the numeric part. And now the column is really a numeric column. Another thing we can do is to select here um, a row and click here for remove rows. So um, we can, let me try here, we select here this row here and then asks to remove the top row. 
so just the one row at the top and now the, that empty column was out and here we have another empty row that's not uh, desired so again we just select here this row and ask for remove the row from top so just one i could have selected two in the first time but i have not seen now the column is better processed we have here some kind of errors you can see this red mark here we have seven lines with error that this is these ones that has no population um, defined. So I could also remove these specific um, lines here. Remove rows, remove from, remove errors. Maybe it's easier. Okay, now I think it is fine. Not okay. Now it's really fine. A hundred percent corrected. Very good. Um, so it's that for this step. Now our data is ready to be processed. We have it then just for um, close and apply. And now it's going to load the data, and we are going to be able for creating our dashboards. Now we have loaded the data. We can see it's available here. It's available at this, this right side of your Power BI. So the first thing we're going to do is to try to see this data as a table. You can see that here in the left pane by clicking here in table view. And so it's going to show our data to us, but here it has no kind of customization, just show the data itself our columns and so on. See here the column we want to process is this one because it's this one we has transformed for a numeric column. So in case I expand here, you can see it shows here the sigma signal at the side because it's a numeric values. All the another are just text columns so we can just count how many elements are there but we can perform kind no no kind of statistical processing over that. So now we are going to return to, to the report view where we can build things. So just for we start, I'm going to create a, a table visualization. Okay. And here I would say, I'd like to see the country. Just set that here. Oh, yes, it's already here, the country, the city and then the population, just these three columns here. So all the, all the data we have in the table is here available. What we can do as well, now the data is here, we can, for instance, create here another kind of visualization. For instance, one card, we have here card visualization. Okay, control Z for return. In case we have the visualization selected and click over some another kind of visualization, it changes the current one. So what to do, we click out and then we click here in the new visualization we want to create a card. So now we have two visualizations and now we can say here, I would like to see the population. Here, it's, it, it shows at this moment the exact number of the sum of all populations of all cities we have in this table. But looks how interesting. In case we select here one city, it changes just for the selected one. And in case we click on shift, and click in another city, it's sun, both. Do you see that here? And in case we select another one, it's sun again. So our dashboard is already working with two visualizations integrated. Now, the last nice thing we're going to do, we are going to create some more graphical visualization. We are going to select here, this kind of chart here, a bar chart, 
and let it here available. Now for this bar chart, we have to customize that. We need to inform here, we need to inform here what's going to be the X axis and the Y axis. So for X axis, we are going to use the population. Okay, it already identifies that, so it was easy. And for X axis, we're going to use the city. Okay, now you can see here, we can make that bigger. So you can see that everything is integrated. In case we select here one specific uh, city, it shows the value just for this city here. In case we select another city, it sends that. And then we can also interact just with selected values. So it's also very nice. And you can set everything together to publish to your user. And for that, you have just, of course, to save your dashboard and then click here in publish. Okay, in this case, maybe you need to have some kind of account for publish that online and then deliver the link for your users enjoy and consume your data you have taken from the web page we have seen in the very beginning of this video. Very nice how Power BI has helped us to take this data from the web and bring that inside Power BI to be processed as numbers because we have just take out invent rows we have converted the text columns for numeric columns. So the data was ready to be processed by the tool. And we, with almost no effort, have built the dashboards for allow the user to filter and interact with this data. You also have ideas of another situations we could use Power BI or similar tools for exploring this data. So just write down in the comments. Maybe we could discuss and make more videos like that exploring the resources of these analytics tools we have available. Thank you for watching and see you next time.